I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, I have a special guest, my husband, Royce. What Welcome up, everybody? Back. I know, it's been a minute. It's I've been, been a minute. wanting to get back on, but you don't let me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but uh, last night, or yesterday, we actually had a very interesting discussion mm -hmm. about the new news of Haley Bailey, not Halle Berry, Haley nope. Bailey, being <laughs> the new Little Mermaid, oh, meaning snap. we're going to have a Black Mermaid. Oh, snap. Yeah, so everyone's going crazy about it. We do mm -hmm. have some um, racist comments happening on Twitter. Racism. We have black Twitter being very excited for it. But we were just, you know, discussing it, and we had some interesting topics that I thought would be interesting enough to bring on my channel and kind of raise some awareness yes. about. Okay, so yes. let's first talk about the pros. The pros. Well, first of all, uh, Haley Bailey, congratulations, because this that role is amazing. Major. And that's fantastic that you were able to secure it. And, I mean, this is she's going to be amazing. Like, her singing is yeah. ridiculous. So yeah. she's about to kill that mess. And then I know this is, this is a really big acting role for her, but I'm sure she'll be fine. So Yeah, I know she's on Grown-ish. Um, I actually haven't watched Grownish, but if she acts anywhere nearly as close as she sings, I'm sure it's amazing. She's good. Her and her sister, like <laughs> them together is already a dynamic duo. When you're discovered by Beyonce, like that automatically gives you the stamp of approval. She's mm -hmm. young, black girl. She's only 19 years old. Killing the game. So I am so thrilled for her. And if Disney wanted to go with any type of ethnicity, I'm happy she booked it. So we were talking about that. But mm -hmm. then on the flip Some side. Some other things. <laughs> we're going to talk about some other things. Some other things. Yes. So, first of all, I do want to say that this video is just to, you know, play both sides, get your get your brain going, think about what the real meaning behind this Disney movie is. Oh, y'all going to leave is. some comments. Yeah. <laughs> y'all going to leave some comments. But if anyone <laughs> yeah. tries to leave any negative comments about Haley or anything racist... Oh, y'all tripping. You will get deleted and blocked. Tripping. Just Absolutely tripping. There. I do want to say that if you think that if you don't like the casting of her, that does not automatically mean that that person is racist. Mm -hmm. That's not what that means. There definitely are racist people out there that are saying racist things about this casting. They're saying, yeah. you've ruined the Little Mermaid, you've ruined my childhood. Like, that's not what this is about. No. But we both kind of feel some type of way about turning white characters mm -hmm. black. A lot of people are like, what do you mean white character? She's not real. She's, she's a fish. There's no race involved. There's clearly race involved. She's Obviously white. white. She's, she's white. <laughs> she's white and redheaded. But still, this has been a white character since the beginning. And then now making her black all of a sudden looks great in headlines. Yeah. Trust me, I'm all for this type of thing. But for this character to be around for so long and then just to throw another race, whether it be black, it could be any other race, to so just yeah. throw another race at it to... In, in my opinion, I feel like it's throwing us a bone. It's like a cheat code, in yeah. a sense. For them to be like, look, we'll we'll throw you guys a bone. We're just going to make this character that's already been white all these years. We'll just make her black, you know? And Are you happy now? You got a black. You, you guys happy? That's great. Cool. And, you know, for, for ev everybody is happy. You know? But I also understand that this doesn't solve the problem. Yeah. You know, this... I would prefer if there was a new black character yes i would be more excited if we actually had real diversity change we already mm -hmm. have princess tiana we have a whopping one black princess right why can't we just have another black princess with her own name her own identity her own backstory instead of just given ariel's backstory now you're just the black version of ariel where she could just be her own entity and we could yeah. have an additional princess to look up to so now yes your young girls can now watch a another princess with darker skin, so it's obviously exciting. But it's the black version of Ariel. It's not this princess is yeah. like me who looks like me because of like, it's black. jaded. It's jaded from the beginning. And like I'm gonna bring it. I'm always gonna bring it back to Black Panther. All right. Like me, I read the comics, so I already knew the greatness was there. But he most was a people, Black Panther fan before Black Panther. Exactly. Was cool. <laughs> I got made fun of it back when people made fun of me for mentioning vibranium. Now everybody thinks vibranium is cool, but that's fine. <laughs> but the thing is. Like, that he, that had been historically created as a, not, not even black, but African character, which made it even more deep, you yeah. know, in that sense. And that sense. whole story is about Africa. Exactly. And like a real black so, backstory. <laughs> exactly. So when they put that on the big screen with that budget with Ryan Coogler directing it and writing it, it was beautiful. <laughs> it was black magic at its finest. Made by black people. Made by black people. See, this, don't, like, don't get 
you know, distracted by the headlines. That's what I'm saying. It's still a white director, still white writers. There's still, there's still not diversity where it, where the control is. And I guess that's really my point is that this is like, Hey guys, Hey, look, we're going to, we're going to give you this. All right. Be happy now, you know? And it's just like, no, 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 that's not for me. That's not good enough. Yeah. All right. I'd rather you remake a uh, little mermaid, keep her white and redheaded, you know, watch that. Cause the thing is, everyone's going to love it anyway. Everybody loved Ariel for being white. <laughs> that's the thing like we all grew up yes it sucked we wish they were more diversity we still love these characters even though they were white mm-hmm. we don't need them to be black what we do need is to create no original more. black characters and the thing is I shouldn't even say create because they're, they're, there's a plethora of them already out there in existence what really needs to happen is people we need to we need to literally take those that already that have already been made and put those on the big screen so I have been on Twitter, on Instagram, reading all the comments and I'm reading, you know, different opinions. Some people are saying now they're just doing this to get more of the black dollar. You know, it's just kind of like, let's get more black people to watch our Disney films. And relating it back to hair, which is my specialty, my world that I'm in. Really? We see... I didn't know. Yeah, thanks for subscribing. My bad. We see <laughs> that even in the hair community, we have white brands that will just throw for kinky curly hair on the bottle, but they really didn't change any of the ingredients that are actually gonna help curly hair. They're just trying to create an ethnic product to get that black dollar. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of correlating to that. And even sticking back with hair, uh, Haley posted a photo of the black version of The Little Mermaid, like the cartoon version, with long, black, straight hair. Okay, people, let's talk about the hair. (laughs) Obviously, if this black mermaid goes into the water with straight hair, I'm gonna need her to come out with frizzy hair. It needs to be <laughs> curly. She needs to run back to her little seashells of product and fix this. But a lot of people are hoping for red dreads. I do really co- hope that they keep the red. I would love if they have dreads. A Disney princess <laughs> with dreads would be amazing. I'm gonna show you guys a photo. If it looked anything like this, that would be fire. But I'm all for that. Once again, if it just goes to just her skin color changing and nothing else, like just giving her like white hair. That's not something that even young girls can still relate to because most black girls don't have long, wavy, straight hair. So aside from the hair, that's the first part, right? But now everyone else is talking about the other roles, okay? Mm. Is Prince Eric also going to be black? Could he be white still? Now we have our little interracial Mm -hmm. Disney princess characters going on. Or why can't he be Asian or Indian or Mexican? Because that's the thing. Like, I understand, you know, we've been through some stuff as black people in this country. Other, there are other races out there. Okay. That, that have way less diversity in films as we do. Like this is the way it's going to go. Then, you know, don't just make it like just a full on black Little Mermaid, you yeah. know, if that's what you want I to I don't do. think it's going to be, because I yeah, really casted yeah. Melissa McCarthy and as And Aquafina um, is doing the voice of, uh, who's the, the bird? Scuttle? Scuttle, yeah. A girl's doing Scuttle? Voice? Yeah, Aquafina. Hmm. So, you know, so they are spreading the love, at least so far, at least, well, at least in those two roles. Is her dad going to be black? Or she, she has, like, six sisters. So that does open up, you know, more roles for black characters. I'm all for that. Or just any type of Mm -hmm. ethnicity. That's all going to be great. But now everyone's like throwing out their guesses. Like some people want Lizzo to be Ursula. Some people want Queen Latifah. It's going to be really interesting to see (laughs) where they go with this. Now, switching gears again, you know, making white things black. We have seen that work sometimes where like The Wiz. The Wiz is amazing, classic black film, the black Mm -hmm. version of The Wizard of Oz. One, it wasn't called The Wizard of Oz. No. It was called The Wiz. Like you said, that's the the important distinction is that it wasn't intended to remake or reboot The Wizard of Oz with Mm -hmm. black black people. It was literally like, this is our interpretation. The Wizard of Oz, that's still y'all. You know, yeah. and I say, y'all, I didn't like the Wizard of Oz. It's not for me. I like that. <laughs> but I'm like, they're like, keep that. You know, we're cool. Keep that over there. We got our own thing. All right. We going to jazz it up a bit. We going to add Michael Jackson. <laughs> we have Michael okay. Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Amongst amazing And then people. we had Cinderella with Brandy and Whitney Houston. Man, when we go black, like we get some names. Oh, yeah. Films. We go. We go black, you know. So, so, why, so why is that different? How come those are okay and the other ones aren't? Because, again, it's not trying to erase something that's already been there. Mm-hmm. Like I said, with The Wiz, it's not trying to erase The Wizard of Oz. It's just like, hey, you know, um, if we wanted to do it, this is how we would do it. But y'all can still, like, 
Dorothy's still white, mm-hmm. but our Dorothy, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so with, with this, the little mermaid, it's like by doing this instead of like, Oh, Hey, this is our interpretation. This is how we would do it. You're saying, okay, sh- literally little mermaid is no longer white. Like, even with the Marvel world, Royce is a huge Spider-Man let's talk fan. About Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> so with Spider-Man, you know, there are what the, the new version that you love. The, yes. Into the into the Spider Verse. So, perfect example. All growing up, you know, I've just heard people always tell me like, "Man, don't you wish Spider Man was black? Don't you wish Peter Parker was black?" And I'm like, "No, Peter Parker is white. I grew up loving like Spider Man's my favorite character. Right? I feel like if they would have just made him black, and it's like, oh, here's Peter Parker who's black. It doesn't it doesn't work because it, that it's not earned. Like if they would have just done that, we wouldn't have had <sighs> the oh so beautiful creation." of Miles Morales. Black and Puerto Rican. Also Spider-Man. A different Spider-Man. With his own story. With his own story, his own family, his own situations, where if they just would have thrown a black guy on top of Peter Parker, we never would have got that. Because they're like, here, we just made Spider-Man black. Be happy with it. Yeah. You know? And that just shows you, like, having, like, having something that's us, like, created specifically for us, I feel like it's way more impactful than just throwing some darker skin on on an existing ki- character on existing white character yeah. let's know? talk about some of the ridiculous questions on twitter though like oh, the yes. ridiculous comments some people are saying well you guys wouldn't like it if we made black panther white or we made no Tiana no white. Like, no you're stupid that's shut not up what we're talking shut about. up okay. you're stupid <laughs> that's kind of like explaining like the difference between all lives matter and black lives matter. And if you really don't understand the difference between those, don't even argue. We ain't got enough time for all that. All right, so I found this tweet on Twitter from Hillary Monhanna. It says, "White people complaining they cast a black girl as Ariel. Disney created 49 films from 1937 to 2009 before delivering their first black princess with Tiana. Black girls watch an entire catalog, never seeing themselves for 70 years. So that is a very very long time so you can't even be like what if we took away the one you have how would you feel it's like no nah, y'all still got what 49 other films you got so many from. to choose from <laughs> so just pick many. one close your eyes and pick so one so many <laughs> another great comment that i found was from infinity ser underscore she says i'm saying as a person of color i can understand to a degree why this is being seen as a poor casting choice And honestly, I find this to be a weak shot at representation. If you want to give representation to black actresses, write roles that they can portray accurately, like Princess Tiana. Actually make their culture part of their character. If you cast a white girl as Mulan, you'd look stupid. If you cast a Hispanic girl as Moana, you'd look stupid. (laughs) Casting a black girl as a Danish princess just feels like being thrown a bone, in my opinion. Make it matter. And then this also goes back to the inclusion of redheads. Obviously, hair color isn't as serious of an issue as different races, but it's always nice to have a character that looks like you. And she was, you know, the redhead that redhead girls could relate to. And if you're taking that away, it's just like another thing that's being taken away from someone when it could just be an addition to the very lacking group of whether it's redheads whether it's black hispanic asian like we shouldn't be taking away from anything unique we should Mm -hmm. just be adding to it adding same girl she also said i know she's a mermaid i'm saying there's a difference between having a black character for girls to look up to versus just casting a black actress as a pre-existing white character one is representation the other is just casting Mm -hmm. i love that Yep. And that's really what it is. We're not excited that we have a new black princess. We're literally being excited about a new black casting. Yep. That's the only thing that's changing. Not the storyline, not her backstory. It's not a black character. It's a black actress portraying a white character. With all that ranting out the way, y'all are probably like, all right, cool. So you bring up these points. So then what's, what's going to fix this? If, well, in my opinion, the answer, like I said, isn't just throwing a black character or any, you know, character of color into a situation that's already been historically white. The change is going to come when we have the opportunities to write and create our original characters of color. Once we're able to do that, that's going to be way more powerful and significant than what's happening with this. And overall, I would like to say that I 100% support Haley getting this role. If they said, Royce, do you want the roles, Ariel? I'd be like, absolutely. (laughs) But you're a black man. 
What's a twist? <laughs> <laughs> I think the movie is going to be very successful because mm-hmm. it's The Little Mermaid. Yes. And now we're adding some diversity to it. Haley has an amazing voice. Like, it's going to be a success. Mm-hmm. And I'm completely happy for her. I just want us to always be aware that even though this is like, well, you know, the saying, we've won the battle, but we didn't win the war. And it's a, it's a step that I'm happy that we have. I'm always happy to see black actresses and actors, you know, just get these roles. It's already mm-hmm. hard just to even get booked if they're not really looking for right. black. Yeah, so exactly. I'm happy that Disney opened up the door to any ethnicity, that they're open-minded in that aspect. I just want there to be more characters and positions for us to choose from in the very, very near future. Yeah. But now I want to know, what do you guys think? Did you gain mm-hmm. a different perspective from this conversation? Are you looking forward to, you know having a black Ariel. Would you also like to see more additional black princesses made? Leave all your thoughts down below and make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday. And Royce actually has his very own channel. He actually usually does tech reviews. He Mm -hmm. also has some of his own personal films with very diverse casts on his channel, which is... trying, (laughs) y'all. It's at Rockye Productions, R-O-C-Y-E Productions. Your Instagram is... At Roro Beckley, R-O-R-O-B-E-C-K-L-E-Y. Even though it's probably on the screen, I want to spell it anyway. (laughs) And yeah, if y'all are just like, you know, Royce, why do you feel these ways? Just be happy. Then, you know, at me, bro. Let's talk about it. We're not trying to incite fights here. No, no, they can talk to me. No, they can't. I'll take it. Be nice to my I'll husband. Take it. <laughs> <laughs> you also can follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Spelled M Z. Thanks for watching, Bianca Renee. Today. Today.